All right, so we're asked to draw a frequency polygon, and the only uh, error you're going to make with this type of question is figuring out what a frequency polygon is. Now, a frequency polygon is where you uh, put little crosses at the uh, points, and the points lie at the group's midpoint. So we've got our first group 0 to 10, so the midpoint would be 5. Next one is 10 to 20, so that's going to be 15. Then 25, then 35, then 45. So the first one's going to be a 5, and it's going to be 6 high. It's going to be like that. Next one's 15, 22. So 22 would be about there. 25, 59, so 59 would be right up here. 25, uh, 35, 15, a little bit lower than that, but that's fine, 45, 4. Now we're only halfway done, and my points aren't exact because the screen I'm using isn't the most precise, but it's good enough. We're only halfway done because what we need to do is join these up with straight lines. So no curves, no curves needed. And when you join them up with straight lines, do not ever join up the last two points. You're not actually trying to make a polygon, okay? So don't ever, when you when you join them up, whatever, right? Don't ever draw this line here, okay? That's not a good thing to do, so make sure you don't do that. Okay, and that's it. So midpoints, crosses, and then join them up with straight lines if you're asked for a frequency polygon. All right, so it says that um, the town council are saying that over a quarter of the stores get over 30 customers. So we're going to see whether that's right. So over 30 customers would be these two groups here, so 30 to 40 and 40 to 50. So that is 19 altogether. So that's 19 out of, and let's add all the rest up. So 6 plus 22 plus 59 plus 15 plus 4, out of 106. It didn't say that in the question. So it's 19 out of 106, which as a decimal, 19 over 106, be 0 0.179 to three decimal places. So what I would say in the exam is no, uh, because that is 17% or 17.9%. So it's less than 25%. And just write a sentence saying that, yes, it's close, but it's, it's not quite at 25%, because uh, even rounding up to the nearest percentage, it's 18%, which is 7% lower than 25%. So just make sure you write all of the numbers in an answer that answers the question.